And absolutely shocking news. Patients who have a hard time losing weight are using their medications that help them lose weight. There's nothing more frustrating than as a physician who takes care of patients with PCOS and someone who has PCOS themselves, than knowing that losing weight can help with PCOS symptoms, but that the condition itself makes it hard to lose weight. So that's really awesome for everyone involved. And so it only makes sense that now that we have medications dedicated to just weight loss, that that patient population is using them. And I'm gonna come back to this part right here because that is my main argument in this video, that it's not approved for this patient population despite all the good things it does. Improved glucose control and weight loss, as well as improvements in menstrual regularity and a decrease in ovarian cysts. And in current mice studies, they're even seeing it go beyond just the losing weight. They're seeing a decrease in inflammation in the ovaries and even help lower androgen levels, which goes beyond just losing some weight. This study was published just showing that there is a rise of patients using GLP-1s and duh, of course they are, because for once we finally have something still, not a single medication approved just for PCOS, because that doesn't exist for the 10% of women who have PCOS, but at least it's something. And yet it's still not approved for this indication. And because it's not approved, insurance often doesn't cover it, which again, is awesome. Now I am happy to see that a lot of these medication costs have come down significantly. A year ago, they were still $1,300 cash pay at the pharmacy. Now, a lot of times you can get them for around three to $400 a month, which is still an insane amount of money, but at least a little bit more attainable than it used to be. But what we need and really should be demanding is that insurance covers this medication for this condition that so many of us have and have so many lifelong implications on our health outside of reproduction.